polite inquiries, George Dobell, Jared Kimber, Perth. You can see on our faces, we've been sweating. How about a shower? Captain Mike Yates says, from here, the England team look mentally shot. What's the reality from up closer? They look mentally shot. There's a spectrum, and on one end of it, you've got Jonathan Trott. And on the other end, you've probably got somebody who's just committed to the side, like Ben Stokes. And most of them are a lot closer to Jonathan Trott than they should be. Amit Bahara says, Matt Pryor's career is over. Right. No. He's been dropped before, and it looked like it was over before. Yeah. And he's come back, and he's 31. And there's no particular reason why physically no. He should have gone over the hill. Uh, he, was, I don't, said that. he was one of their best players only a year and a half ago. Well, he's a player of the year. I think he, he, he was given the award in May. And ever since then, he's, uh, it's been downhill. But it's really not that long since he was a really, really good player. People were saying he was the best wicket keeper batsman in the world. They tested that averaging 45. Yeah, that sort of thing. So I wouldn't write him off just yet. But yeah, you, you, but he has got a point. But he probably has to be dropped for his own good at the moment. Well, I said that after the last game. Yeah, you but you did? Yeah. I disagree with you. Well, now he's he's be because he scored 69 or something, wasn't it, in the second I game. just thought maybe he got his mojo back, but that was yeah. a temporary mojo. Well, they were cheap runs, I thought. Yeah, but, but, but you know, he might yeah, save this game. It's a funny old game, as someone once said. No one's ever said that. Right. Cool Dude J, your favourite, says, how much, will, how much has Warner improved as a batsman technically after the punch gate fiasco? I think that's got a lot to do with it. He's got a new batting coach, Trent Woodhill, I think that's right. Um, and he's been back, but essentially, he's been putting, he, he's made three big scores in this series when he's had massive leads to play with and a shot um, team to play against. That's not to say they haven't improved, and that's also not to say that he doesn't like betting on strength pitches more, but I don't think punch gauge or anything like that has too much to do with him. No, four test centuries all in Australia. Really good, good pitch player. Well, to be fair, three in Australia and one in Tasmania. Okay, and um, I, I think the next few years should be really good for him. There's no reason why he can't do this right around the world. Again. Mike uh, Bert Whistle says, Are England playing well enough to win zero tests in this series? Oh, yeah. They might be playing too well for that. Matt says, I'll ask nicely, how bad are England? They're looking really bad. They were minus two today at times. Yeah, I mean, today was really, really good. That, when, 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 there's that amazing mistake when Anderson gets the nick off Rogers. Pryor doesn't go for the ball. Cook's too wide. It just looked like every bad thing you've ever seen combined into one, didn't it? You would be forgiven if you could only saw England on in this series. I think you know, poor, poor side, but you know, we know that some of these players are very, very good. And we can beat some, you can't say it's not a good player. You can't say Ian Bell and James Anderson, Graham Swan, have all had really super careers. And there's no reason physically why they should be over the pitch. <laughs> Unless you. I couldn't check you well, off. Like it's not like they're 37, it's not like they're 30, even 35, you know, they're early 30s mostly. Angus Livingston asks, why does it cost more to buy Beyonce's album in Australia than it does in the US? We'll see you tomorrow.